Girlfriend feels terrible we had to leave Doctor Strange because of her. No spoilers for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness in this post. I, 24 meters, am a huge Marvel fan and I've been looking forward to Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. For months and I have been hyped for it. My girlfriend, 24, is autistic and has some sensory issues. But she told me even though she doesn't have much interest in Marvel she wanted to see it with me. Because she knew how important it was to me and she wanted to share the experience. She goes to the movies on weekdays during the day when no one is there and does okay with that. So she thought we'd be okay with a 3pm showing on a Thursday. However, I don't think she realized just how packed it would be and that right off the bat was a bad sign. For her. Then without any spoilers. There was a part where everyone started cheering and yelling. And I saw she was starting to get overstimulated. She started to lean over with a death grip on her ears and her eyes were squeezed shut and she was. Gritting her teeth. So I immediately got her out of there and we went to my car and got her overstimulation kit out of. Her bag and turned on her music. Fortunately. She was able to calm down and avert a meltdown. When we got home. She felt horrible and started crying. She said she was the worst girlfriend in the world, and, didn't deserve any love at all, and she ruined it like she ruins everything, and she repeatedly told me how sorry she was that I had to leave the movie. I told her she was the most wonderful girlfriend in the world and that I was not mad at her in any way and it was absolutely not her fault we had to leave. But then she told me that if I had just gone without her it wouldn't have happened. I kept telling her that she was much more important to me than the movie and I wasn't mad at her or blamed her, but she wouldn't accept any of it and just continued to insist it was all her fault. Since then, she's kinda isolated herself and has shut me out a bit and hasn't talked to me a whole lot. It seems she feels so ashamed and guilty for what happened even though I did my best to make it clear to her how okay it really is and how I'm not mad. Is there anything I can do? TL. Doctor. Girlfriend started to have a sensory overload when we saw Doctor Strange today and we had to leave. And she feels beyond awful about it and too guilty to talk to me now. P.S. In case I have to say. I am not in any way mad at her for what happened. I'm just happy she's okay and I'm touched she wanted to share that experience with me and all. Definitely watch the rest with her when it comes out on DVD. You two sound like a great couple. I think just give her time. And continue to reassure her. One thing I would suggest though is considering. And discussing with her. Going back to see it alone at the movies, if you miss out entirely on the cinema experience of it. She may feel worse, more guilty. You are a really good guy. My 17-yo son can have similar sensory issues. And he experiences that same desperate regret and shame. I hate that for him more than anything. My only suggestions for you. Plan ahead for success. Like going to that movie might be better first showing midweek. Sometimes for really loud movies. Noise cancelling headphones can help. Finally. Before you go into an iffy situation. Agree in advance that there will be no hard feelings if it doesn't work out. Remember. Her mind has gone to a black and white. Catastrophic thought process. She thinks she is going to be dumped. She's the worst girlfriend. Etc. All bad thoughts. Pulling her back from that place is really hard. Like. It is a top level skill of a trained professional. I paid a lot of money to learn to do it. Been working at it for years. And I'm still not great at it. So at the end of the day. It's about both of you being willing to be gentle with and love yourselves and each other. Honestly she sounds both extremely embarrassed and feeling extremely guilty. Give her a bit of time to process how she's feeling and then just give her a hug and take her out. For a quiet meal at her favorite place to eat. 
As a fellow artist the calm down time after a bad episode is very important and my brain is completely scrambled until I can relax. She sounds beyond sweet trying to get out of her comfort zone for your benefit and it would be wonderful if you continue to let her know how much you love and appreciate her. And don't worry. You're doing just fine as it is. You don't have to feel bad that your reassurances aren't working just yet because when she comes down from the rampant emotions she will appreciate your patience. I had a PTSD episode at my company Christmas party last year and my boyfriend had to remove me in a hurry. For the rest of the night I was in a similar state of mind as your girlfriend. Deeply embarrassed. Feeling guilty for the appearance of acting out and feeling even more guilty knowing my mental state could have fully spun out before he was able to intervene and potentially putting him and two of our good friends in a bad spot. That combination of emotions is a huge thing to process. And it just takes time. The mental, emotional train is trying to pull too many cars at once and it will take a while to sort itself out. My partner knew well ahead of time that I struggle with this knew the signs and what to do about them. You did the same for yours. You acted quickly to help her. And have been patient and reassuring. On an intellectual level, I believe she understands that you're sincere in your assurance and lack of judgment towards her. It's just taking time for the rest of her to catch up to that. You've done everything right. People like us are very fortunate to have partners like you. The movie will be viewable on TV at some point. Tell her you are looking forward to seeing the movie with her at home. You love her company and her comfort matters to you. There's less stimuli at home and you can always pause the movie if she needs a break. Quick note. Sometimes people will hear reassurances as you invalidating their feelings. Definitely give her some time to cool off. And when she's ready to talk about it just let her vent about how embarrassed she was. How she ruined everything and then hit her with the, I totally understand why you feel that way. If the roles were reversed. I would feel just as bad as you're feeling right now. But my dearest. Amazing girlfriend. You will always be way more important to me than any dumb movie. And my disappointment in missing it is completely overshadowed by my relief that you're okay and my concern for you. So please don't worry about me. Next time I want to go see a movie with you. We can work together to pick one at a time that will be most comfortable for both of us. So please don't fret or be embarrassed. You're wonderful. Or your own version of that. You'll still get your point across without invalidating her feelings. If you show that you're listening to her and not just telling her she's wrong for feeling the way she does it might help open her up. Neurodivemgent is very difficult for most but you're doing everything right I give you a gold star. Flip the story to say, I know how hard it is for you in situations like this. And I appreciate you so much for still going out of your comfort zone just to try and make me happy. I feel bad that I let you go through with it when I should have probably encouraged you to play. It's safe. As someone who got broken up with after two years being together because I had a sensory overload. This post made me cry. I think it would be fine to give her time and I don't think either of you did anything wrong. I'm sure you give her mad props for at least trying. You do seem very patient and I hope this patience goes both ways. What I mean is. The most you can do here is learn from this experience. Don't underestimate opening day of a Marvel movie. And plan to watch it for a different. Less occupied time. And her patience will come into play if she's willing to listen to that suggestion. You seem like such a loving and patient partner and I am sure she's aware of that. It's easy to feel ashamed of yourself sometimes especially when you have someone who truly cares about you. You just feel like you don't deserve everything they do for you and end up thinking more negatively about things. 
Just give her some time and space to calm down. You are such a sweet guy. And she is so lucky to have someone so empathetic and caring in her life. Unfortunately, it sounds like that wasn't always the case. And that, whether it was her parents or siblings or exes that did it, or a combination, she was left with a really critical and outright cruel inner voice. Plus a low perception of herself and her worth. That doesn't get fixed overnight. As much as we might wish it could because, in all honesty, it should. For her and for you, for her because she deserves to know that her well-being is worth so much more than a movie, or just about anything else in the world. And for you because you love her and hate to see her suffer or beat herself up like this. Keep reminding her of how much she means to you. Do it gently. And don't let her try to make it up to you. Just keep going as if nothing happened. Because, I think, I hope, but I could absolutely be wrong. So please, if anyone else would like to weigh in or correct me, don't hesitate. I think that the less of a big deal, deal either of you make it out to be the better. I think the less focus you put on it, not in a, it didn't happen. Let's never speak of it aga in sort of way but in a, it's no big deal. Don't sweat it way instead will help her believe it and trust that you do. 2. That you aren't just trying to make her feel better. Which could unfortunately make her feel even more guilty. And worse. Let her know how thoughtful she is. Tell her how much you appreciate what she does for you. How you love to be able to give back. Be excited for the next time the two of you get to spend time together. Bring it up in a way that says, I can't wait. Or, I'm so excited to. Whatever it is. With you. If she hesitates, tell her that the important part is that the two of you are together. That you want to spend time with her and whatever it ends up being is a bonus, that whatever happens is supposed to happen. Ask her to come to another movie with you. Or even another showing. Choose a time when the theater isn't so packed or, if possible, maybe rent it out for the two of you. Bring along noise-canceling headphones and an eye mask if she needs it. Two things that she can slip on quickly and discreetly whenever a scene or the crowd gets too loud. Rowdy or flashy. And she starts to feel like she needs it. Don't surprise her with tickets. Surprise her with an empty theater if you can. But give her time to adjust and get used to the idea. If she likes candy or a certain snack. Pick it up for her. Get what you like for yourself. 2. Just keep carrying on like it's all okay because it is and so is she. If she becomes overstimulated again, do exactly what you did before and add in other things the two of you might have missed if you'd stayed in the theater, like a certain song on the radio you both love, or an amazing view of the stars. Go for a walk around the park. Go window shopping. Maybe find a 24-7 diner with old-style milkshakes and a jukebox. Take whatever happens and roll with it. Dance in the parking lot or just pull her close and hold her. Tell her that the movie isn't the experience, that the experience is with her. That you'd rather miss a million blockbusters alone than a single second with her by your side. It'll always come out on streaming or Blu-ray. After all, there'll always be a second chance to see it. But there's only one her. And you cherish every moment. No matter where it is or what the two of you end up doing. Above all else. ETA. A word or two and some punctuation, spelling. It might help. When she is calmer and past the initial aftershocks of the near event. To have a talk about how she talks about distress. It may even be worth her working with a therapist on this. The key things she might need to hear or work on reminding herself are. If you feel like you've hurt someone. Making a lot of noise about how upset you are about it doesn't make them feel better or fix the. Issue. It just makes them comfort you over you hurting them. Rather than you comforting them. Making a bigger thing about how you hurt someone than the person. You think you hurt does is eclipsing their feelings. It's important to respond proportionally. 
If reading the cues is hard you have to trust their words. Since runaway guilt and self-recrimination are a problem, try reframing it as thanks to the people who you feel you're inconveniencing. Replace, I'm sorry I'm such a bad girlfriend. I'm sorry I ruin everything, with, thank you for being patient, even when my situation disrupts something. Thank you for being with me when I'm struggling. All in there's a lot of black and white thinking here. Not deserving love because of one bad experience with an overcrowded theater is disproportionate. A lot of work on self-soothing to get to proportionality to be done here. A therapist really can help. For now you're doing all the right things. In the longer run I hope she can learn to hear you. Just please be aware she might need more professional support to do it. She is responding to irrational spiraling guilt right now. She may be responding to an irrational fear that if she doesn't self-blame enough then you might do it for her. Does she have a family history of over-critical parents? Or past partners? Either way what she's reacting to is not your actions. Nothing you have done is described here as causing her to feel like this. And that may mean that you can't cause her not to feel like this without more help. That's okay. You can't be someone's entire support and recovery structure all on your own. And love isn't actually magical. You can't love someone out of having symptoms entirely. You can only love them enough to help them get through them. It sounds like you're doing that just fine and with support the two of you may be able to find more strategies to work on together. That's the last thing to try and get across if you can. This situation isn't your best interests versus her needs. It isn't you versus her at all. It's you and her together versus the problems and the problems are things like too much noise or too many crowds. Or the runaway guilt that's hurting her, those things aren't her. There's nothing wrong with her. There are just challenges for you to take on as a team. If she's had unsympathetic people around her a lot before, it may take a while for her to absorb that you're on her side. OMG. I would kill to have a boyfriend who was so patient and understanding. Not that she doesn't deserve that or caused a scene or that should be out of the ordinary. I just mean I have only ever been with guys that would treat me horribly if I even so much as talked during their movie. Seeing this kind of post gives me hope that there really are people that are compassionate in loving. Anyways, I hope she comes around. Just keep giving her reassurance like you were. You guys sound lovely. Since you already have gotten better advice from other people than I could give I just wanted to. Say you're a good man for not putting spoilers. It can be kind of hard to console someone during and after episodes like this. Most autistic folks are used to being treated like a massive inconvenience when we can't handle a situation. Just give her time and gentle reassurance. Honestly you sound like you're doing a good job supporting her. Honestly it feels like people like you are a rare breed. She seems like she's still in the process of calming down so maybe give her some time. I think something you can bring up is that you did want to enjoy the movie but your life with her is much more important. Like you said already, and her doing her best and putting herself through that was a better gift than seeing any movie. I don't have much experience with conditions with overstimulation but I have mad respect for anyone who takes a chance knowing, not knowing how it will end up. It took a lot of courage for her to do that and maybe you should remind her how she's forgetting that part of it all. She seems like a great girl and you seem like a very caring BF. Life is too short to stress over leaving a theater. In the end. That's incredibly insignificant and your time spent together is really all that matters. I applaud you for handling the situation like a champ but her ignoring you is really not acceptable. That's the first thing you should address. Because that's really not fair to you a loving and caring boyfriend. Screw you for bringing me to tears. Also. 
Great job at being an awesome boyfriend and person in general. UGGHHH. Up you are so pure and genuinely loving. The world truly needs more of that. You've already taken all of the amazing advice given here. So just props and thank you for being exactly what a supportive partner should be. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.